Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman, CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. We've been open 12 years as of August 2023. Today, this video is about uh, the defunding of the National Institute of Standards and Technology, i.e. the Department of Commerce. NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, was watched over by Communist China between 2015 and 2021 by their membership on ANSI. ANSI and NIST are quite happily converting together. Let me just tell you a little bit about NIST's history. NIST also runs the NLVP, which is a national, actually NVLP, which is National Voluntary Laboratory Program, which certified and accredited the Dominion voting machines, while no less that they were being controlled and manipulated by communist China at the time, 2015 to 2021. Also, NIST runs the NIST MEPs, Manufacturing Extension Partnership in 50 states, where they get both state and federal funding. Our tax money, where 64.85% of that money goes to pay their management and personnel. Many of them are not specialists in manufacturing. And as we got a letter from one of their former employees, she stated that we used to uh, give money back and forth to not-for-profits. And we used to call it, uh, kiddingly, uh, money laundering, because one not-for-profit gives to another, and the, the, ta the accountability uh, is not there because nobody knows it's a not-for-profit. Unbelievable. NIST should be, and this video again, is that NIST should be defunded, and QA expert Daryl Guberman explains why. There's not much to explain. Down below this video, you'll have a lot more information and data concerning NIST's impropriety. In fact, to make matters even better, the Department of Commerce runs the National Vulnerability Database. Uh, in 2013, they got hacked by China and taking a lot of data. As they went along, they wrote a standard because they're in bed with ANSI, they wrote a standard called NIST SP800 for cybersecurity, which does not work because, you know, they're telling you on a contract that you must be an, uh, an accredited member of the International Accreditation Forum. And at that time, the IAF was run by Communist China. So you see all of this incestuous relationship. As I said, we will keep this video short. This is about uh, the defunding of the National Institute of Standards and Technology, i.e. the Department of Commerce. My telephone number is 203-556-1493 or daryltqrs at yahoo.com.